little brown mushroom that occurs in the genus Agrosopy. It has these brown spores. And obviously it's a soil decomposer. And uh, it's interesting. It's coming up here in the spring. I haven't found this one out here in the spring um, yet. So that could be a, a new record for this forest. My name's Andrew Miller. I'm the mycologist at the Illinois Natural History Survey. And um, what I study are fungi. And my research focuses primarily on fungal systematics and also fungal biodiversity. Um, I do a lot of traveling around the world to look for fungi and discover um, new species of fungi, um, bring them back and describe them, and put them in our collections. We have a very large um, fungarium, which is where we deposit all of our fungi at. So we have these very large collections, and they tell us a little bit about the biogeography of fungi, where they occur and what they're doing um, throughout the world. Well, fungi are the second largest group of eukaryotic organisms, um, second only to the insects in the number of species that are thought to occur throughout the world. And some of the estimates of fungal biodiversity throughout the world um, are as low as 700,000 species, but also as high as 9 million species. And although there's a lot of estimated species out there, we've only been able to gather and identify about 100,000 species, or less than 5% of the total biodiversity that we believe are out there. Fungi do all kinds of interesting things. Um, they're responsible for alcohol production, um, for penicillin and, and important medicines. Um, but also out in a forest like this, they're very important in decomposition. So they are the main decomposers of wood, um, woody substrates and organic, the return substrates back to organic debris. So for example, we have this nice specimen of this plipper squamosa. It's called the pheasant back, and it's a very nice polypore that's doing its job right now out of nature. This log has fallen down um, several years ago, and we have this nice fruiting of fungi on the log. The hyphae of the fungi, or, or mycelium, it's the fungal roots, for lack of a better term, that, that are penetrating this wood and decomposing all of the organic material on this wood aren't seen for most of the year. Um, and you only find fungi for just a few days throughout the year. That's what makes it so difficult sometimes um, to find fungi. They only occur with the, when the conditions are right. Other fungi like this one will occur for up to a month or two before they decompose. Um, and that's good for other disciplines as well, such as entomology, because there's an intricate relationship between some insects and some species of mushrooms. I don't personally study that, but I have a lot of colleagues that study that as well. And the insects will come in and actually eat the mushroom and use it as a food source. And by doing that, the fungus is getting helped out because the insects will carry the spores on their um, feet and on their bodies and disperse the spores for the fungus and to other pieces of uh, wood. And so the fungus can move around that way and uses the insects for that purpose.